The estranged husband of missing Connecticut mom Jennifer Dulos took the stand today in the civil case against him. Jennifer's mother claims that she and her late husband loaned Fotis Dulos millions of dollars, and she's suing to get that money back. News for us, Ida Siegel, live for us in Hartford, where that trial got underway today. And Ida, what did Fotis have to say out there? Yeah, Adam, this was significant what happened in court today because it was the first time that Fotis Doulis testified under oath. But as you mentioned, this was a civil trial, which meant the attorneys had strict limitations on what they were allowed to ask him. Fotis Doulos walking back into court this morning. This time, he is not addressing questions about the now notorious disappearance of his wife, Jennifer. Today's matter was civil. A battle over money between the estate of Jennifer's late father, Hilliard Farber, and Dulos. Dulos took the stand today for the first time, testifying under oath, recalling the warm relationship he had with his former father in law. He and I had a very, uh, very good relationship. He was like a second father to me. He was the one that prompted me to leave my work and, um, at Captain Irish and Young in New York City and to start my own business. He was incredibly supportive. At issue in court today are a number of loans the Farber family says were made to Dulos to help him start his construction business and buy his home. The family says Dulos still owes $2.5 million. But Dulos testified that the loans were forgiven in exchange for equity in his company. And he said to me that uh, in, the, in the future, any of these advances are not going to be considered loans. I don't want any interest. And uh, when you have excess funds, you can return them to me. If but the Farbers disagree and want the money back. Attorneys were not allowed to ask any questions today related to Jennifer Dulos's disappearance. The new Canaan mother of five hasn't been seen since May. Fotis Dulos and his former girlfriend, Michelle Traconis, have been charged with tampering with evidence and hindering the prosecution. Dulos's sister spoke briefly before court today. He's the uh, nicest person I know. He's a very, very good person. And you don't believe he could have harmed his own oh, no. wife? No, no, no. Dulos's criminal defense attorney, Norm Pattis, was also here in court today. He's expected to have a press conference as soon as the court day wraps up. That is expected to happen shortly. Reporting live from Hartford, Ida Siegel, News 4, New York. Thank you for watching this video from NBC4 New York. You can subscribe by tapping the button below me. And on the left, you can see our latest updates, investigations, and digital exclusives. We'll see you next time.